How are you guys doing today? I understand a lot of people have been waiting. Yeah. Hello, hello everyone. Good evening. Hello Akshay. Class is right now. Hi Margos. Pratamesh, hi. Prince, Maruti, hello. Pragati, hello. Kalpit, Vibhor, Anuj. Just do it. Vinita, hello. Nimisha, hi. Akshay, hello. Abha, Sana, Pragati. Hello guys, hello. Uh, can you guys quickly confirm if you are able to hear me? Are you guys able to hear me? Can you quickly confirm on the audio? Hello Akshay, hi. Uh, why late? <laughs> I was actually setting things up here. There's some issues with the internet here and there. You know, kind of uh, normal at this point in time, right? You can't really blame anyone for it. Yeah. So uh, let bygones be bygones. Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, do we have any any uh, new participants today? Any new students today? Any new aspirants today? Has anyone recently joined this channel? Has anyone recently started watching this channel? Do we have any new folks here? Yes, Beneath. <laughs> Let's crack it. Yes. Okay. My Insta handle. What do you think? I'll Instagram on Instagram. Uh, obviously not, obviously not. But if you want to search my name is Amit Surana. I don't think there are a lot of people with that name. Yeah. Great, great. Okay. Superb, superb. So now that you guys have uh, uh, joined and I've got your attention. Yes. Welcome to uh, the second session on understanding profit and loss. Where we'll be today dealing with a, a little more advanced level of uh, concepts. Yes. Uh, this is the sixth lecture all in all. Yeah, uh, the uh, earlier five, uh, the uh, first four lectures were based on percentages. Yes, the fifth lecture was the basics of profit and loss. And today we are here uh, to deal with the second part of profit and loss. Yes, I hope you guys are excited. Yes, because I am extremely excited to talk with you today to, you know, make sure that you learn something new today. Yes. Now, profit and loss is something, of course, that you already know because you've been living in and out of it. Yes, but when a problem is posted, when when a problem when you face a problem, yes, especially in CAD, yeah, how you would deal with that is what the session is all about. Yes, so uh, if you guys are excited, if you guys are ready, I'm gonna take the opportunity. Yes, I'll quickly introduce myself for the new ones here. Yes, my name is Amit Surana. I am an aeronautical engineer from Chennai. I have five plus years of experience on teaching quantitative aptitude to over 2 lakh students by now. Yes, so these 2 lakh students are now either placed in their dream companies or are they or they are pursuing their uh, you know higher education in the universities in the schools that they wanted to. Yes. Now if you are planning on sharing this with anyone on your social media platforms, yes, hashtag cat live daily is something that you've got to add. Yeah. Uh, which will make sure that we know that you're doing that. Yes. Now, uh, a platform where you can uh, talk about, yes, chat with other aspirants and uh, other people who are trying to take this test. Uh, download the Telegram app, open your web browser, type in this web address, tinyurl.com slash unacademy chat. Yes. If you're facing any technical issues with that, uh, those would be, you know, uh, solved any day now. Yes. And uh, people who've been, you know, uh, looking at taking up the subscription, yes, uh, please do not forget to use the code Surana Live that will fetch you, you know, discounts as much as discount as an academy can give you. Yeah. Now, uh, as an introduction to today's session, yeah. So a quick recap on yesterday's session. In yesterday's session, what we saw is what uh, are the different terminologies. Yes, we understood that cost price is nothing but uh, the initial price of any kind of investment 
yes the selling price is nothing but the final price of any transaction yes we've also known what profit is and what loss is yes we've also learned that profit and loss are supposed to be calculated on the basis of the cost price yes uh, that is profit percentage or loss percentage will always be with respect to the cost price the cost price would be the base value here yes uh, yeah so on that basis on that note what we are going to do is start with the session today right what we've seen yesterday were questions where you know there would be one cost given to us and a selling price given to us yes and we'd either have to calculate the profit percentage or loss percentage right now this question here on your screen yes if you've already seen the question yeah start solving it yes i'm going to give you the usual you know 90 seconds to go over this question yes but i would want i would expect your answers a, a lot sooner than 90 seconds because there are answer choices also given yeah so here is a question the answer choices i'm going to give you some time to go over it yes and then we'll start talking about this question yeah Vivo, yeah, I understand that that, uh, that uh, something of that sort is happening right now. Yeah, but we're working on, you know, uh, rectifying that. Yes, that's going to be up and running real soon. Yes. Uh, Anuj, recall previous class, see, we have only an hour and a half. Yes, so the maximum we could have, I could have recalled, I've done. Yeah, and if you still want some kind of a reference from the previous session, then I'd want you to, you know, go over the video again. Yes. And if you have any doubts, you can always drop in in the comment section. Yeah. Even better, if you take the subscription, we'd be able to answer all the doubts real time, right, in live. Yes. Okay. So now I've started getting answers. Uh, Mohammed Amir's question is, sir, by which month course will be completed? Okay. The plan is to complete the course way before November. Yes. So uh, since we are taking all the topics, yes, and we are talking about uh, each of these topics concept by concept, right? We are hoping that the entire course will get over way before November so that we would have time to, you know, uh, try out some mock tests, take up some practice tests. Yes, because like I said, there are three things that you will require in order to get a 99th percentile and over in your CAT, especially in the quantitative aptitude section, right? The first is basic mathematical knowledge. The second is the tricks and the strategies that we discuss in the in these classes. And third is a lot of practice. Yes, a lot of practice. So all these three put together will easily fetch you the 99th percentile position. Yes. So I, I have some answers coming in here. Yeah. Uh, some answers are right. Some are not, which is okay. Yes. Uh, please understand that some of the answer choices here are intentionally put in such a way that you will end up making a mistake. Yeah, so you have to be very, very careful. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, let's let's look at this question, right? Let's look at this question. Here, we, we know there is some cost given $5, another cost given $6. Yes. One is the cost price. The other is the selling price. Five to six dollars, the difference is one dollar, right? So one dollar difference over five dollar difference is 20% difference, yes? So anyone who said the answer is 20%, don't you think this is a, a, a little easy question to be discussed in, you know, the uh, advanced session? Yeah, 20% is an obvious answer, right? So in most cases, in most cases, the obvious answer is a trap answer. Yeah, so that is something that you'll have to eliminate. Yeah, now the other mistakes that a lot of people have made also are uh, available on the answer choices, right? So anyone who said the answer is B or C, yeah, you've also made some mistakes here. Okay, now what I want you to do is, what I want you to do is recall, recall, when we were looking at cost price or when we were looking at selling price, right? We were looking at the same number of stuff bought, correct? We either looked at one water bottle bought or one chair bought or, you know, five tables bought, whatever, right? But the number of things were the same, right? The number of articles will or would always remain the same, yes? But here, here, look at the title, it is variable cost, which means the number of items are not fixed here, yes? 
so if you see if you see five dollars is not for one water bottle guys yeah anyone who considered okay five dollars for one water bottle so six water bottles is thirty dollars no 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 not the right answer not the right way of looking at the question what does it mean some water bottles were bought at five dollars for six which means when six water bottles were bought it costed them five dollars do you understand yes so uh, it in 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 hindi it would be chhe ka panch samajh mein aa raha chhe bottle ka panch rupaye yes so chhe bottle ka panch dollars yes that's the deal here but when it was sold when it was sold the rate is what six dollars not for each not for one but for five yes so yahan pe we're looking at six water bottles but here we're looking at five water bottles yes now if the number of elements are not the same we cannot go ahead and directly calculate the percentage yes profit percentage cannot be directly calculated yeah so here you have two choices you have two choices one you'll have to make sure that the number of elements are same yes so here it is six which means here also it should be six or if here you can make it one then here also you'll have to make it one yeah if i say for six water bottles it cost me five dollars yes then for one water bottle what will be the cost price guys what is the cost price for one water bottle five by six correct yes five by six correct yeah five sixth of a dollar so if you want you can convert this into uh decimals yes but i'd rather not have you do that because this will be a recurring non terminating decimal right 5 divided by 6 is not going to be a terminating decimal yeah so it could be a tough task yes number 2 let's look at the selling price so this was the cost price yes now let's look at the selling price yes for 5 water bottles the selling price is $6 yes this basically makes us believe that one water bottle's selling price is going to be what $6 over 5 yes or 6 by 5 dollars yeah so this you can convert into a decimal if you want yes this will be 1.2 yeah but then now what do you have to do you have to find out profit percentage yes so what is profit percentage guys can anyone quickly tell me profit percentage is what yes so profit percentage is what the difference between the selling price and the cost price yes over cost price yeah since it's in terms of percentage in 200 okay now here if you see what do you have to do is 6 by 5 yes 6 by 5 minus 5 by 6 yeah now anyone anyone who would have said that the answer is 11 by 30 yeah 11 by 30 in 200 that is uh 36.66 yes the mistake that you have made is here yeah you forgot to add up the cost price also yeah denominator mein cost price also you have to add do you get it yes so this is how your calculation is going to be yeah now uh, anyone who's been following me from the first lecture right knows very well that i am someone who does not like fractions yes if given a chance if given a chance if there is a you know small gap also i would want to convert fractions into whole numbers yes now what people have been doing what people have been doing is you know either calculating in terms of decimals or using fractions directly right any which ways any which ways if you see yahan pe lcm lena padega right 5 hai yahan pe 6 hai yahan pe lcm lena padega fir yahan pe cancelling karna padega ya isko this will have to take a reciprocal right there's too many too many things involved here yeah now if you remember if you remember the only thing that i had asked is what to make the number of articles equal yeah if here you are selling x here also you should okay so here if you are buying x here also you should be selling x correct does not mean it has to be one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert it into something that will fetch me a whole number right so instead of talking about six uh, you know uh instead of talking about six uh water bottles i'm going to talk about 30 water bottles yes how much do you think 30 water bottles are going to cost me so 6 times 5 is 30 yes so here cost will also become 5 times correct so into 5 is going to give me what 
25 dollars yeah so now i know for 30 water bottles the cost price is 25 dollar yes now look at here look at this part yes i want the selling price for 30 water bottles so 5 6 times is what 30 water bottles will cost me how much into 6 here also because i'm going to multiply on either sides yes so this is going to cost me how much 36 dollars yes so cost price is 25 dollars now selling price is 36 dollars now all we have to do is what now deal with whole numbers yes so what is the difference cost price and selling price 36 and 25 what is the difference 11 dollars yes 11 dollars is the difference yes what is the cost price 25 yeah and since it is in terms of percentage you multiply it with 100 yeah you know 25 one times this will be four times yes so 4 into 11 is how much 44 percentage yes so what is my right answer here guys my right answer is a 44 percentage anyone who said the answer is a 44 percentage that's the right answer yes now the reason the reason behind me talking about this is to give you is to you know let you know that you have to focus on the words given in the question right so any any person who has said the answer is b yes had made some calculation error anyone who said the answer is 36.66 yes has also made a error in the calculation yes so this is risky yeah doing this in your cat is risky why because you have to Make sure that the fraction, so this is fractions within fractions. Yes, this is a fraction altogether and there are fractions within it. So this could be a lot confusing. Yes. So find out ways, find out ways in which you can avoid dealing with fractions. So what I've actually done is here LCM lene ke badle, right? 5 or 6 ka LCM kya hai? 30. And here LCM lene ke badle, what I've done is I've taken LCM here itself, which makes my job a lot easier. Yeah superb guys amazing beautiful beautiful now anyone who said the answer is a 44 percent is the right answer 20 percent jo hai 20 percent is a clear trap yes it's a very basic trap don't fall for it yeah so this concept is called variable cost yes what do you mean by variable cost where the cost of the number of elements matters yes here there are six elements here there are five elements which means the cost price the selling price would change yeah you have to be careful about those clear any confusions here 25 kaise aaya just here agar agar if if agar 6 bottle ka cost price 5 dollar hai right if 6 bottles cost me 5 dollars then 30 then 30 water bottles gonna cost me 25 dollars right ye cost price hai ye profit hai ye cost price hai this is nothing but your sp minus cp over CP into 100. So, what are you doing here? 30 water bottles. Ka le yes. Now, one thing you have to remember, guys. One thing you have to remember. When it comes to profit percentage, profit percentage, 30 water bottles ka profit percentage, 6 water bottles ka profit percentage, 1 water bottle ka profit percentage, sab same hi rahega. Why? Because we will divide the cost price se divide bhi karenge, right? We will be dividing with a proportional cost price also. Yes. So 44 percentage is my answer. Yes. Oh, Mehta, uh, uh, Mehta sahab, aapko samajh mein aaya nahi hai. Mehta sahab usually solutions leke aate hain. Tarak Mehta mein, but yaha pe problems leke aa rahe hain. Uh, Vapas door aa deta hai, I'll repeat it. Yeah. So because I don't want to deal with fractions, right? I'm gonna erase this part. Yes, kyunki ye confuse kar raha. Because I don't want to deal with fractions what i'm going to do is convert it in terms of whole numbers so yeah one wala concept hi hata raho. i don't want to calculate it for one i'll directly calculate it for 30 water bottles yeah six water bottles ka cost price five dollars hai to 30 water bottles ka cost price kya jayega six into five yaha par bhi into five ho raha hai na ek water bottle ka cost chai rupai hai matlab 30 ka 25 rupees ho jayega right same thing here Five water bottles selling price is six dollars, which means for thirty water bottles is gonna be thirty six dollars. Yes. Now I have the selling price, I have the cost price. I want profit percentage. Uska formula kya ho gaya? Selling price minus cost price by cost price into hundred. Yes. 
36 minus 25 is 11 and cost price is 25 into 100 clear yes so i hope you guys have understood this yes this is variable cost right you have to be extremely careful when you look at the number of elements also yes now on the screen is the second question on the screen is the second question uh, pragati 30 the reason why i took 30 is because it's the lcm the closest number yes you can take 30 you can take 60 you can take 90 you can take 120 300 whatever but 30 is the chota number lcm stands for what least common multiple hai na to sabse chota number le rahe because we don't want to increase the intensity of the calculation also agar hum 100 le lete let's say we would have taken 100 bottles then cost price bhi utna hi badhta hai na the cost price also would have increased that much yes selling price also would have increased that much what is easier dealing with smaller numbers or bigger numbers yes Okay, Vibhor, Vibhor has his answer. How about others? How about others? Hmm, a lot of you, a lot of you have given the answer and most of your answers are right. In fact, all have given the same answer. Yeah, 33.33% is the right answer. Very good, guys. Yeah, so here, here, this particular question, this particular question, uh, beneath, beneath the TITA question type, hai. this is non MCQ question type. Yaha pe answer choices nahi hai. There are no answer options. Abha, abha, thoda sa galti ho gaya, thoda sa galti ho gaya. Yes, the answer is 33.33%. Uh, yes, I'll tell you how to deal with this, right? Yaha pe, if you notice, if you notice what I've written in the title is, Cost price of X elements is equal to selling price of Y elements. Yes. Matlab, here what they're saying on selling 15 tables, on selling 15 tables, a carpenter is able to recover the cost price of 20 tables. Yes. So here I have multiple ways to deal with this, right? There are multiple ways to deal with this. Yes. One of these, one of these uh, methods would be what? Considering the cost price. Yes. So assume the cost price, assume cost price of one table is one rupee. Yes, cost price of one table is one rupee, which means what will be the cost price of 20 tables? Yes, cost price of 20 tables kya ajayega? 20 rupees. Yeah, her, her table ek rupee ka hai, matlab 20 table 20 rupees ka ajayega. Yes, how about cost price of 15 tables? 15 rupees, hai na? Yes, 15 rupees. Now my question is, what is the selling price of, what is the selling price of 15 tables? Question mein kya diya hai? What is given in the question? On selling 15 tables, a carpenter is able to recover the cost price of 20 tables, which basically means cost price of 20 tables. So in this case, as if I, if I were to write it in this terms, cost price of 20 tables is basically the same as selling price of 15 tables yes yeah so here what do you get these two are equal and uh, if these two are equal then selling price of 15 tables are what 20 rupees yes a profit percentage dhunna, right 15 15 yaha pe mil gaya hai, right because we need the number of elements also same yes what is per profit percentage guys what is profit percentage Selling price minus cost price, malab 20 minus 15, which is 5, over cost price, which is 15 into 100. Yes. So this will be the standard method of dealing with this. Yes, which is nothing but one third. One third we all know is how much? 33.33 percentage. Yes, with a bar. 33.33 percent. Clear. Uh, beneath, yeah, you can assume anything. Beneath, you can assume the cost price to be anything. 1 rupee, 10 rupee, 100 rupees, 20 rupees. Whatever works for you. Yeah, whatever works for you. Now, this will be the standard way of doing it, right? Standard way of doing it. Yes, jahan pe hum assume karte hai cost price ki value and all that, right? Now, let me give you a quick shortcut. Hai na? 
a quick shortcut this is based on the understanding of it yes a quick shortcut based on the understanding of the logic yes so yahan pe try and understand if you were a carpenter right if you were a carpenter yes what would you deal on what will you deal on right one you can say my profit or my loss is based on money or two the profit or loss is based on the number of articles that you are selling hai na so for a carpenter for a carpenter unko ye calculations nahi aati hogi right so what he would calculate as that if i sell 15 tables yes mere 20 tables ka kharcha nikal gaya hai na main 15 table agar bechunga if i sell 15 tables my expenses of 20 tables is covered yes so can i say can i say हर बार जब पंद्रह टेबल बेचता है राइट right? ये कारपेंटर जब हर बार पंद्रह टेबल्स बेचता है राइट एवरी टाइम दिस कारपेंटर सेल्स फिफ्टीन टेबल्स पांच टेबल का उनका प्रॉफिट होता है करेक्ट पांच टेबल का उनका प्रॉफिट होता है ये इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज क्या हो जाएगा थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री यस सो दिस शॉर्टकट इज बेस्ड ऑन वॉट प्योर लॉजिक यस that profit or loss can either be in terms of currency or it can be in terms of the articles yes so here what i'm doing i'm using the logic of the articles right for every 15 table sold panch table ka munafa right a profit of 5 tables yes so 5 over 15 will be my profit percentage clear yes super super या प्रमोद करेक्ट यही यही सेम फाइनल माइनस इनिशियल बाय इनिशियल इन दिस केस इनिशियल इज नथिंग बट कॉस्ट प्राइस फाइनल इज नथिंग बट द सेलिंग प्राइस है ना इफ ट्वेंटी टेबल देन प्रॉफिट विल बी ट्वेंटी परसेंटेज नहीं समझा वेयर ट्वेंटी टेबल वेयर अच्छा इफ यू आर टेलिंग इफ नहीं समझ में आया मेरे को ट्वेंटी टेबल इज वॉट हाँ करेक्ट आभा इफ ट्वेंटी टेबल्स ये If the profit, uh, if it is on selling twenty tables, but हाँ अगर यहाँ पे यहाँ पे selling भी twenty tables है, cost price भी twenty tables का है, तो क्या हो गया? No profit, no loss. क्योंकि बीस table के खर्चे पे मेरे बीस table बेच पा रहा, right? My selling price of twenty tables is the same as cost price of twenty tables, तब तो zero हो जाए, है ना? Otherwise, if it were twenty uh, as the cost price and twenty five as the selling price, तब जो आप बोल रहे हो सही होगा, है ना? Great. नितिन नितिन हाँ इट इज डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस्ट नॉट बाय सेलिंग प्राइस यस नितिन इफ यू हैवेंट अटेंडेड एस्टरडे सेशन लेट मी टेल यू प्रॉफिट लॉस इज ऑलवेज कैलकुलेटेड ऑन द कॉस्ट प्राइस नॉट ऑन द सेलिंग प्राइस यस प्रॉफिट लॉस कभी भी कॉस्ट प्राइस पे कैलकुलेट होता है सेलिंग प्राइस पे नहीं है ना ओके राज शॉर्टकट शॉर्टकट अच्छा ठीक है फटाफट से एक बार बता देता हूँ फटाफट से एक बार बता देता हूँ जस्ट द लॉजिक राइट Every time 15 tables are sold, right? This carpenter every time he sells 15 tables, right? 15 table बेचने पे उनको पांच table का मुनाफा होता, right? Five tables worth of profit every time he sells 15 tables. Yes. So this becomes the cost price. This becomes the profit into 100. Profit by cost price is the profit percentage. Clear? चलो अगर ये समझ में आ गया तो अगला question भी समझ में आ जाएगा. Yes. Quickly look at this question. Quickly look at this question. In this question, they say that there are two chairs that were bought at the same price by a shopkeeper. Yes, on selling one of them at thirty-seven point five percentage and the other at a loss equivalent of three eighth of the cost of the price. Sorry, of the cost price. What is the overall profit or loss? So, is is pure transaction me right at the end of the entire transaction? What is the profit or the loss? Yes. can we have you can we have you answer this question real quick no issues no issues raj aapke doubts mein i'll always work on answering your doubts don't worry kya aap fatafat se inka answer dijiye aur main thoda sa pani gatka leta hu guys others also please remember to drink water on a regular basis yes har 15 minute har uh, 10 15 minute 20 minute mein pani peene ka aadat rakhiye yes although you may not be stepping outside in the hot sun yes although you may not be stepping outside because it's hot outside yeah even if you are at home please do not forget to hydrate yourself yes correct guys correct beautiful vibhor nitin mansi kalpit nimisha correct answer beautiful beautiful yes 
So here what they have told, here what they have told that the cost prices are the same. Yes, the cost prices are the same. Yeah, so here it should be cost price of 1 is equal to cost price of 2. Yes, since the cost prices are same. Yes, a cost price. Yes, this is cost price. So cost price of 2. Dono ka cost price yaha pe same hai, right? This you have to keep in mind. Nimisha, sure, sure. Here you have to keep in mind that the cost prices are the same. Yes, how do you know that? Here it says two chairs were bought at the same price by a shopkeeper. If the shopkeeper is buying something, yes, if the shopkeeper, if the retailer is buying something, it basically means it's the cost price. Yes, so cost price of both these uh, chairs are the same. Yes, so I'm going to write it here. Cost price of chair 1 is the same as cost price of chair 2. Yes. In the first in the first uh, transaction, there is a profit of 37.5. Yes. 37.5 percentage is a profit. Yes. So cost price. So ultimately the selling price would be what? Ultimately the selling price would be what? Selling price is nothing but cost price plus the profit. Correct. So cost price is cost price the same. Profit in this case is how much? 37.5 percentage. Yes. So ultimately this becomes the selling price here 37.5 percent. Yes. On the other transaction what happens? There is a loss that is equivalent of 3 8th. Yes. What is 3 8th in terms of percentages guys? 3 8th in terms of percentages? Correct Akshay. Yes. 3 8th is nothing but 37.5. How do you know that? Because 1 8th is 12.5. 1 by 8 Yes, 1 by 8 is 12.5, which means 37.5 is nothing but 3a. Yes, is the same. Clear? Superb. So here what is happening? But it's a loss. Yes, so here the selling price would be what? Selling price would be cost price minus the loss, which is 37.5. On either ends, if you see, on either ends, if you see, if there is a gain of 35.7, percentage. There is a subsequent loss of 37.5 percent. ये क्या हो जाता है? Tally हो जाता है. This gets tallied on both ends, right? Plus x minus x will give us zero, which means here selling price, total selling price and total cost price will always be equal. Yes, if they are equal, what is the profit or the loss? Zero percent. No profit, no loss. Break even point. Clear? Yes, great. <coughs> yeah, uh, no, uh, Mohamed Amir, no, we cannot use successive percentage here because it's not applied on the same price. These are two different prices. Yes. Great. Okay. Now let's try, let's try and answer the que next question. This was a very basic question, right? This was only to let you know. That if the cost prices are same, if the cost prices are same, then in that case, the ultimate profit or loss are equal. If the profit percentage and loss percentage are equal, then the subsequent, the uh, effective profit or loss is going to be zero. Why? Because 37.5 percentage of cost price will increase. On the other hand, 37.5 percentage of cost price will decrease. Yes, clear. Now, the next question is on the screen for you guys. Yes, the next question is here. Let's see if you can quickly answer this question. Yes, the next question. We're talking about a BMW and an Audi that were sold at the same price. On selling the BMW, the retailer makes a profit of 20%. That's a quick question, quick question. Do you know what BMW stands for? What does BMW stand for? Okay, Shubham, Shubham 4% what? There are two answer choices here that has 4% in it. A gain of 4%, loss of 4%. Yes. 
विभोर से इस बेकार सा है फुल फॉर्म तो बता दीजिए इतना ही बेकार है बी एमडब्ल्यू तो एनी वन इफ यू कैन गिव मी द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ बी एमडब्ल्यू विदाउट ऑब्वियसली हिटिंग द इंटरनेट एनी वन ओके सो सम से द आंसर इज डी सम से द आंसर इज बी अब अदर्स अदर्स तो समा सेइंग बी समा सेइंग डी वेरी गुड Shubham Saurav says D. That's a confirmation. Okay. Sana says B. Balram says D. Rishika says B. Shubhangi says D. Okay, okay, guys. So if you are still wondering what BMW stands for, it stands for Bavarian Motor Works. Correct, guys. Mehta, yes. Kumar Abhishek, correct. Bavarian Motor Works. Yes. Okay. So now let's try and answer this question. Let's try and answer this question here. Yeah, here they're saying what a BMW and an Audi were sold at the same price. Now, how was this any different from the previous question, guys? In the previous question, in the previous question, right? We're talking about the previous question. We had what the cost price is being same. Yes, the cost price is being same. But in this case, in this case, what are they saying? They were sold at the same price. They were. Sold at the same price, which means this may not be equal. Yes, but what is equal? The selling prices are equal. Selling price of selling a uh, selling price of a BMW and selling price of an Audi are the same. Yes. So what they are asking here is, if on selling a BMW there was a twenty percent profit and on selling the Audi there was a twenty percent loss, will there be no profit, no loss? Of course not. Yes. Why? Because here the cost prices are not same. Yes, there is no tallying here. Yes, so I'll tell you how you would answer this question. Okay, how you would start answering this question is like this. Yeah, so you'll first start looking at this. Yes. Uh, okay. Now we do not know the price of anything, right? We do not know the price of anything. So let us assume. Yes. So this is going to be for a BMW. Yes. This is going to be for an Audi. Yes. In both cases, the selling prices are what hundred rupees. Yes, I understand, sir. Which BMW? How? What BMW or Audi you would get for hundred rupees? Yes. Yeah, but this is our assumption. This is my assumption, my fantasy. I'm going to buy it for hundred rupees. Yes. So selling price of BMW is hundred, and selling price of the Audi is also hundred because the selling prices are same, right? Here on in this case, the loss is how much? Sorry, in this case, the profit is how much? Twenty percentage. Does it mean twenty percentage of the hundred rupees? No, twenty percentage of the cost price. Because the idea here is what profit or loss percentage is not calculated on the selling price, but it's rather calculated on the cost price. Yes. So what do I know? I know that the selling price is gonna be what cost price plus twenty percentage of the cost price. Yes. Do you remember yesterday I told you if there is a profit of twenty percentage, it basically means what? The selling price is hundred and twenty percentage. Yes, so selling price becomes what? It becomes hundred and twenty percentage of the cost price. Yes. So what is the cost price then? Selling price by hundred and twenty percentage. Hundred and twenty percentage को मैं one by two लिख सकता हूँ, है ना? So S by one point two. Yes, this is the cost price. This is the selling price. Yes. So, first, cost price. Don't look. Cost price will be what? Selling price is hundred. So, hundred by one point two. Yes, which is going to be in terms of decimals. Correct. Yes, this is going to be what? Eighty three point three three. Yes, this is going to be eighty three point three three something. Yes. Now, here in this case, what happens if I assume the selling price to be hundred? Yes. The loss is how much? Twenty percentage. Hundred percentage. I said twenty percentage. If the loss is gone, right? Same logic. Same logic. Cost price. What will happen, guys? Hundred percentage minus the twenty percentage, which would give us eighty percentage. Yes. So the selling price. My bad. The selling price would be what? Eighty percentage of the cost price. Yes. So this will fetch me the cost price again. Yeah. What will be the cost price? Eighty percentage. I can write it as zero point eight. Yes. So S. For selling price, which is nothing but hundred, hundred divided by zero point, yes, which is how much? Hundred and twenty-five. Yes, correct. So the cost price here in this case is what? Hundred and twenty-five. 
now you have two cost prices you have two selling prices you can find out whether there was a gain or loss yes but but this is a very long method right this is a very long method with an assumption yes and you have to find out the overall profit or loss in this transaction yes so i'm going to give you a shortcut here guys so here if you use this method ye ho gaya cost price of bmw this becomes the cost price of audi here are the selling prices yes so you have two cost prices two selling prices you can find the overall gain or loss yes if you are looking if you are looking for a shortcut here it is yes what's the shortcut please remember guys please remember if the selling prices are equal yes not cost price selling price if the selling price of two items sold are equal and in one transaction there is a profit of x percentage and a loss of x percentage in the other transaction then it will always be a loss yes so anyone who said there will be a gain or anyone who said there will be no profit no gain please remember there will always be a loss why because here in this case here in this case the loss when when we look at the loss the cost price increases hai na in terms of loss in terms of loss what do we know the cost price has to be greater than the selling price yes so it will always be a loss when there are equal profit and loss percentage yes and what will be what will it be calculated as x square by 100 clear always remember this loss percentage will be what x square by 100 where x is nothing but the profit or the loss percentage yes so if we were to solve the same question right if we were to solve the same question how would we do it guys what would our answer be in that case what is x here 20 yes so x is what so i'm going to write the shorter way here x is nothing but 20 yes there will surely be a loss loss of what x square by 100 yes which is how much 20 square by 100 yes 20 square is 400 guys 400 by 100 is how much 4% yes so this will always be a loss of 4% So my answer is not A, not B, not C. It is what D. Clear? Got it? Great. Super. So this is the shortcut, guys. Yeah. Uh, if you want to stick to the shortcuts, yes. Always focus on the conditions. The conditions are what? One, the selling prices must be the same. Number two. the profit and loss percentage must be the same profit loss amount same nahi ho sakta profit loss percentage will be the same clear yeah. yes great kushali kushali any issues any problem okay great okay then let's move on let's move on to the next question here yeah based on the similar logic based on the similar logic but is a little different yes it is a little different here yes uh, raj if you haven't understood the shortcut there don't worry when i answer this question the same shortcut will be used here also yeah same shortcut yahan par bhi use karenge you don't have to worry about that okay अक्षय अक्षय हाँ थोड़े ट्रिक्स यू विल ऑब्वियसली रिक्वायर सम ट्रिक्स टू गेट थ्रू दिस टेस्ट या क्योंकि इफ यू रिमेंबर मी टेलिंग मैंने बोला था तीन चीजों की जरूरत पड़ेगी बेसिक मैथमेटिकल नॉलेज जो आपको है प्रैक्टिस जो आप कर सकते हो राइट सो द फर्स्ट थिंग एंड द थर्ड थिंग आर शॉर्टेड यस द मिडल थिंग इज नथिंग वर दीज शॉर्टकट्स दीज ट्रिक्स दीज स्ट्रैटेजीज यस तो विदाउट विच गेटिंग यू नो द एम्ड स्कोर एट कैट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट यस ठीक है ग्रेट ग्रेट ओके सो हियर वी हैव सम आंसर्स कमिंग इन यस एटीन रुपीज लॉस आर यू श्योर इट इज एटीन रुपीज लॉस गाइस अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर सेइंग द आंसर इज एटीन रुपीज लॉस नो व्हेन दे से व्हेन द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग व्हाट इज द लॉस no uh, no 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 guys you guys are misunderstanding the question what is the loss on the overall transaction 
यहाँ पे नॉट फॉर वन ब्लैंकेट देर आस्किंग फॉर बोथ दीज ब्लैंकेट टूगेदर वॉट इज द लॉस एनी वन हू से आंसर इज एटीन रुपीज इज मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग द क्वेश्चन यस तो पीपल विभोर बलराम कल्पित मानसी ऋषिका लर्निंग बाय इनोवेटिव वे यस ओके प्रगति जीरो इज नॉट द राइट आंसर सी प्लीज ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज वेरी सिमिलर टू द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन राइट दिस इज वेरी सिमिलर टू द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन यस Yeah, this is very similar to the previous question. Hundred rupees loss, not really. No. Yes. No. 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 Okay. No. I'll try and explain this question. What is happening here? There are two blankets that are sold at one eighty rupees. Yes. So here, blanket one selling price. Yes, selling price of the first blanket is one eighty rupees. Selling price of the second blanket is one eighty rupees. Yes, in the first blanket there is a profit of ten percentage. On selling the second blanket, the loss is ten percentage. Nowhere in the question, nowhere in the question is it given that cost price of both these blankets are equal. No, the cost prices are not equal, guys. Yes, so anyone who is saying zero profit, zero loss is not right. Yes, here, here, what do we know? We know selling price. Will become what if the profit is ten percentage, then selling price is what hundred and ten percentage of the cost price. Yes, of one. Yes, so it will become cost price of one will be what selling price by one point one, which is one sixty three point six three. Yes, one eighty by one point one is what you have to do to get the cost price of the first one. Now for the second one, selling price is what after a loss of ten percentage. Hundred percentage is the cost price. 10 percentage gets removed as loss what is remaining 90 percentage right so 90 percentage will be the selling price 90 percentage of what of the cost price which basically leads us to believe what that the selling price will be 0.9 times of the cost price which basically means cost price will be what selling price that is 180 divided by 0.9 which is how much 200 yes now here here what is the total cost price 163.63 plus 200 which is 363.63 and what is the total selling price 180 180 which is how much 360 yes so loss kitna ho gaya loss is how much cost price minus the selling price which is 363.63 minus 360 which is 3.63 yes yeah please remember guys please remember here they are not asking for the individual profit or loss yes they are asking for the entire the total uh, transaction Yes. Now, Akshay Kumar, one one is in terms of percentage. Yes, one percentage is correct. Yes, one percentage loss is correct, Nivedya. Yes, uh, but what you have to remember is the question is asking about the loss, not loss percentage. Yes, यहाँ पे they are asking for loss, but not the loss percentage. Okay. Now, people were saying, अच्छा, Vinith, you have not understood how SP is equal to 1.1 CP. Okay, this we've been doing since yesterday, right? ये कल से कर रहे हैं हम. Yes. What is happening? Selling price is what? Cost price plus the profit. Correct. Cost price plus profit. Yes. Cost price क्या हो गया? Hundred percentage हो गया. Yes, because that's the actual price. Hundred percent of anything is nothing but the actual price, है ना? Plus What is the profit? Ten percentage. So hundred percentage plus ten percentage is how much? Hundred and ten percentage. Yes, hundred and ten percentage is nothing but one point one times. So one point one times the cost price. Yes. Now, now, yes, yes, we both. This is the basic mistake. And if at all this were with answer choices, yes, answer choices. Me, you will surely would have had, you know, eighteen uh, rupees or thirty six rupees. Yes, but that's the wrong answer. Clear. So the answer here is 3.63 rupees. Now people who want shortcut, yes, people who are looking for shortcut, right? People who want like, nahi sir, yeah, this is too long. Yes, I don't want to. Yeah, sir, na correct. Why can't we directly use the shortcut? Yes, that's what we're gonna do now. Yes. Yeah. So let's look at the shortcut. What was the shortcut, guys? The shortcut is nothing but x square by 100. Yes. X square is nothing but here X will be what 10 percentage because overall profit over a loss or individual profit individual loss both are 10 percentage yes so this will give us what loss yes how much loss 
10 square by 100, which is 100 by 100, one percentage. Right? 100 by 100 is how much? One percentage. So there will be a loss of one percentage. But what you have to remember, what do you have to remember? This one percentage loss cannot be calculated on SP. Yes, because loss or profit cannot be calculated on the selling price. It must be calculated upon what? The cost price. Yes. Do you remember me telling you loss or profit is always calculated upon cost price? Yes. So here what do we know? Overall loss is one percentage. So overall selling price will be equal to what? Overall selling price will be what guys? 360 rupees. Right? 180 rupees for each blanket for two blankets 360 rupees. So 360 rupees is nothing but cost price minus the loss. Loss kitna hai? One percentage. So 100 percentage of cost price minus one percentage of cost price will give me what guys 99 percentage of the cost price yes so selling price that is 360 is equal to 99 percentage of cost price correct what do i want i want the loss loss kitna hai one percentage so isko one percentage how do i convert this as one percentage guys if i divide this by 99 correct if I divide 99 percentage by 99, I'll get 1 percentage because 99 by 99 is 1. So the same thing I'll do here, I'll divide this by 99. Yes, so dividing 360 by 99, what would I get guys? Quick calculation. Yes, 360 is what? 90, sorry, 9, 40 times. Yes, and how about 99? 11 times. Yes, so 360 by 99 is 40 by 11. Do you remember? 4 by 11 will be how much in terms of percentages 36.36 but it will be what 400 by 11 so this will become what 3.63 cash yes not in terms of percentage but here in terms of rupees yes so my answer here would be what 3.63 INR yes Indian national rupee yeah rupee ka symbol yeah RS whatever clear yes. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Great, Ava. Yes. Okay, using Tamil now. <laughs> no issues, no issues. <clears throat> hmm, Balram, yes. Always remember, jo one percentage, yeah, whatever, whatever percentage, X percentage diya jata, it is always on the cost price, never on the selling price. Yes. The question, unless the question tells you this is one percentage of the selling price, the baat alag hai, right? But generally, generally what you have to remember is profit or loss will always be calculated upon the cost price, not selling price. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no culprit. No. No symbols. No special characters. Yes. TITA question types. You will only have to enter numbers. The only possibilities are the decimal point. Yes. You can use the decimal point and the negative sign sometimes that can also be given to you yes great okay now now let's go to the next question right the next question type is what dishonest selling yes you will come across a lot of questions like this in cats uh, you know qa section especially when we talk about uh, you know pro uh, profit and loss question types right dishonest selling yes where there will be a dishonest shopkeeper a dishonest businessman a dishonest fruit vendor in this case yes what is he doing he uses a 900 gram weight instead of one kilogram which means every time this fruit vendor okay in this picture it's a lady so i'm going to use a she yes every time this fruit vendor every time she uses uh, uh every time she says the customer that this is one kilogram what is she actually using she is actually using 900 kilogram weight yes but by selling at 900, by, by using this, you know, uh, false weight, she's saying that I'm going to sell you the fruits at no profit, no loss. What does it mean? It basically means according to her lie. Yes, according to the lie that she's telling, her selling price is the same as cost price. Yes, but is that true though? Is that true? No. Why? Because she's using false weight. Yes, false weight, which basically means cost price of 100 cost price of 100 uh, you know according to her lie right according to her lie cost price of 100 fruits is the same as selling price of the 100 fruits yes but that's not true that's not true 
yes there is some kind of a discrepancy here in the cost price and selling price so the question is asking what is his profit percentage so this obviously is not a lady yeah what is his profit percentage yes so i have answers coming in already yes uh 11.11% .11 is what vibhor is saying is what silver ant is saying i'm hoping this is your channel's name kalpit is saying 11.11 .11 as well sana you'll have to look it's not 10% no Dinesh says 11.11 percentage, which is true as well. Yes, 11.11 percentage is the right answer. Yes. Learning by innovative way. Point one, no. Now please check if you are if there's a typo there. Yes. The Corona ne bhi jawab de diya. Corona has also given the answer 11.11 percentage. Yes, very good guys, very good. Okay, uh, so here what you have to keep in mind is this is very similar. This is very similar to the uh, concept that we saw earlier where do you remember cost price of X items is the same as selling price of Y items. Do you remember this guys? Do you remember carpenter wala question tha? We were talking about tables then, right? Cost price of X element is the same as selling price, selling price of Y elements. Yes, something similar is happening here. Yes, something similar is happening here. What is happening? So we can start with an assumption. Let's start assuming here, guys. If I were to assume something, the best assumption would be what? Cost price, cost price of one gram. Yes, one gram of fruits is one rupee. Yes, cost price of one gram of one fruit is one rupee. What will be the cost price of 900 grams? Because 900 grams is what she is selling. No, not 1000 grams, not one kilogram, 900 grams. So 900 grams ka kya cost price ho jayega guys? 900 rupees, correct? Yes. Now, what are they saying? What is this shopkeeper doing? She is trying to sell this at the cost price of not 900 grams. She is trying to sell this at the cost price of 1000 grams. Yes, which is 1 kilogram. 1000 grams is 1 kilogram, correct? So she is selling this at 1000 rupees. Yes, so, I'm, uh, so what is the understanding? Selling price of 900 grams yes is the same as cost price of 1000 grams which is 1000 rupees so here what is happening in this transaction in this transaction 100 rupees is the profit yes what is the cost price 900 rupees yes 900 rupees. what is 100 by 900 guys what is 1 by 9 yes in terms of percentages what is 1 by 9 11.11 percentage Yes, with a bar of cost, 11.11%. Got it? Yes. So this is with an assumption. This is with an assumption that the cost price of one gram of uh, a fruit will cost us one rupee. Yes. So this will be the standard way. This will be the conventional way of doing it. Yes. What will be the shortcut here? Shortcut based on what? Based on logic. Same logic. Yes. What does it mean? In reality, in reality, how much is she selling? Is she selling 1000 uh, grams or 900 grams? 1 kilogram or 900 grams? Actually, she is selling how much? 900 grams, right? So, for every 900 grams of fruit that she sells, right? For every 900 grams of fruit that she sells, she actually gets a gain of how much? She is selling 900 grams she is actually giving 900 grams by telling 1000 grams yes so here 100 grams is the profit yes so she gains 100 grams every time she sells 900 grams in terms of percentage will be this which is the same thing yes which is how much 11.11 percent so the next time the next time you see a question with this honest shopkeeper all you have to do is what Remember, you can either deal in terms of currency, that is rupees, or in terms of the articles. In this case, is what? Weight of the fruit. Yes. Great. Super.
हाय अमित हाय अमित सेम पिंच पहली बात तो सेम पिंच राइट सेम नेम्स यस वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट लाइव सेशन दैट यू आर अटेंडिंग यस हेलो वेलकम I am hoping you have, uh, you know, enjoyed the earlier sessions and you've also learnt a lot from the earlier sessions. Yes, uh, please uh, see if you can, you know, uh, come to the live sessions every day. Right? We have such interactive sessions on a daily basis. Yes, clear. Super. Nivedia, Nivedia. Here there is no short. There is no formula. Why do you want to, you know, make a formula out of it when you can actually understand the logic? Yes. If at all you are insisting on a formula, it will be what? Faulty weight minus actual weight. Okay, faulty weight. Yes, minus actual weight by actual weight into hundred. If you want to make it into a formula, then this is what you will do. Yes, but यहाँ पे what I would suggest is एक formula याद रखने से अच्छा you could actually go for the logic, right? But then that's up to you, Nivedya, right? Uh, who am I to you know ask you what to do? Yes, I can only give you suggestions. Yeah, so my suggestion. Logic is more important than formula. Clear. But if you want to stick to the formula, the choice is yours. Yes. Super. So now, if you've understood that, right? If you've understood this on a selling's basics, yes. This question will be very simple, very simple for you guys. Very simple. Try and understand the question before you start answering it. Yes. थोड़ा सा समझिए, थोड़ा सा efforts डालिए question को समझने के लिए, right? And then give me the right answer. Yes. Superb, man. Superb. I'm actually glad that you've learned a lot of things. Great, great. Okay, Abha. So you worked in Coimbatore, is it? Very nice, very nice, very close to Chennai. And for two years, that was a great deal. Very good, Abha. Beneath, very good. If you've used the second method initially, which is very good. Yes, I'm actually glad you used the second method. Super. Okay, Vipur has given the answer. Innovative has given the answer. Ansh has also given. Hello, Ansh. Welcome. I haven't seen you uh, since the first day. Hello, Anch. Anch's answer is a little different. He says the answer is 22.22 percentage. Yes. Others are saying 21 percentage. Uh, Apurva, Namrata, Kalpit, Balram is saying 22.22. Abha, one, one is not the right answer. One, kya hota? Okay, Amit's answer is 21 percentage. Yes, others are saying 22.22. Okay, okay, right. Jhansi's answer is 21. Just do it. Is just do it. आपका नाम शायद गिरीश है, if I'm not wrong. Yes, 21 percentage. Okay, great. So let's try and answer this question now. Let's try to first understand this question. Okay, what does it say? It says that a dishonest businessman professes to sell his article at cost price. Professes means what? What do you mean by profess? Profess means to confess, to you know uh, accept the truth, admit. Yes, is admitting what that he sells his articles at cost price, but but he uses false weight with which he cheats by ten percentage while buying. What do you mean by cheats by ten percentage while buying? Which means which means initially. So there are two there are two cases here, right? Two cases. Case one, case two. Split कर देते हैं, right? Case one is what? while buying when this businessman buys from someone else yes instead of using 1000 grams instead of using 1000 grams yes actual weight that he uses is what 10% more what is 10 percentage of 1000 grams guys what is 10 percentage of 1000 grams 100 grams yeah so 100 grams added to it will be what 1100 grams yes so this becomes the false weight This becomes the actual weight. Yes, false weight is thousand grams. Actual weight is one thousand one hundred grams. Yes. So what does he do? When someone comes to sell, he changes the weight. Yes. Instead of using one kg weight, he uses one point one kg weight. Or instead of using thousand grams weight, he uses one thousand one hundred grams weight. Okay. Now let's move on. Now let's move on. What does he do while selling? While selling. 
he cheats by 10 percentage so what does it mean by selling if he cheats by 10 percentage yes the uh, so the uh, faulty weight that he uses is what 1 kg yes the 1000 grams yes but he's actually selling how much guys 10 percentage less yes do you remember from the previous question right 10 percentage less which means 900 grams got it yes so he cheats 10 percentage in the first case by buying while selling he cheats by 10 percentage so now now yes the actual weight is what 900 grams so he every time he sells 900 grams every time he sells 900 grams he gains how much not 1000 grams this much right he gains how much 2000 grams sorry 200 grams how because he is actually buying 1100 grams but he is only selling 900 grams correct he is buying 1100 grams but selling 900 grams yes so 200 by 900 200 is the difference in the weights 900 is the actual weight yes so what do you get here uh, 2 by 9 which is nothing but what is 2 by 9 guys 22.22 percent .22%. yes got it correct kalpit correct that is the understanding very good very good so while buying while buying extra weight while selling less weight yes balram beautiful beautiful time lagta hai chalta hai abhi for now if you remember me telling you for now what we want is efforts accuracy time management dheere dheere improve ho jayega right i'll improve step by step yes beautiful nikunj 21 percentage nahi 22.22 percentage please check okay yes got it okay anyone who's saying one anyone who's saying one i don't understand the logic yes what is the logic that you are using one yaha pe nahi hoga okay uh, okay nimisha the last point i'll repeat the last point is what the actual weight so on selling on selling to the uh, uh, customer yes the actual weight that he uses is how much 900 grams yes but then but then according to his uh, you know uh, cheating here that he's done earlier he actually got 1100 grams worth of uh, item worth of articles yes earlier so every time every time he sells 900 grams he's actually you know uh, saving up saving up how much not 100 grams 200 grams clear i hope you are able to understand this yes yeah, Vibor, no issues, no issues. Yes, uh, you made a mistake, you've admitted it, which means you are one step up from a rookie, right? You are almost in the intermediate level, right? I just hope that you do not make any rookie mistakes or legendary mistakes also in the actual test. Yes. All right, Manasi, I hope you've understood now. Yes, Nimisha, have you also understood? Please give me a confirmation. Tell me a yes, sir. I've understood everything that you've said so far. And then we'll move on to another concept. Okay, Dhawal has not understood the buying buying rate. Okay, so let me let me explain it to you. Okay, let me explain it to you. Let me uh, assume that I am the uh, shopkeeper. Okay, you come to me selling something. Let's say you are coming and selling me gold. Okay, because I want to get rich real soon, right? So you come and sell me gold. Okay. You are selling me 1 kg of gold actually. Yes, but what I do, I use my weighing scale. No, I use my weighing scale. My weighing scale, I program it in such a way that even if I keep 1000 grams on it, it will show 1100 grams. Do you get it? So every time I put 1000 grams on it, yes. Sorry, the other way around. Every time I put 1100 grams, yes. Every time I put 1100 grams, it will show 100 grams yes this is while buying yeah so while buying what is happening this is the actual amount that i have with me right the amount of gold that i have with me is 1100 grams not 1000 grams so i've cheated you for this 10 percentage yes now let's say i'm gonna sell this to someone else yes when i sell this to someone else 
I will program my machine, my weighing scale in such a way that even when I put 900 grams, yes, even when I put 900 grams, my display will show 1000 grams. Yes, my display will show 1000 grams. Yes. So, what is happening here? 10% profit here also. Instead of selling 1000 grams, I am only selling 900 grams. 10% profit here per mil gaya mujhe, right? So, now every time I sell you 900 grams, yes. The actual cost price is how much? The actual cost price is how much? Yes, not 1000 grams worth of cost price, 1100 grams worth of cost price, correct? Sorry, selling price, yes. Or in other words, when I sell you 900 grams, yes, the price that I sell you 900 grams was the same as I got 1100 grams. So 200 grams profit, clear? Yes, great, superb. Uh, yeah, Abha, Abha, this is a very common, this is a very commonly asked uh, question in CAT. Yes. Okay, chalo, let's, let's move on. Uh, corona, Corona, huh, agar aapko ye easy laga hai to okay, but that generally happens. Yes. So this, this brings us to the end of today's session. Yeah, this brings us to the end of today's session. In today's session, what we have seen is what? First, we've seen how uh, two different two cost prices. Okay, so first we started with variable, right? We, we started with variable cost price. Yes. Then we looked at how if the cost prices are same. Yes. How profit and loss will apply to it. Next, next we saw what when selling prices are same and the profit and loss percentage is same. What logic can you use? X square by 100 loss. Yes. Next, what did we saw? We saw dishonest salesman, right? Dishonest weights. Yes. Now this, this was the basics of everything. Yes. This is the basics of everything. Yeah. Uh, from, from tomorrow's, from tomorrow's session, we'll be dealing with discounts now. Right. So, so far what we've seen is, uh, profit and loss, right? In basics in advanced done. Yeah. From tomorrow's session, we'll be looking at discounts. So when we look at discounts, there will be marked price, marking up, markup percentage, all of that. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful guys. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for being a part of this session. Abha, the reason I took 900 is 10 percentage cheating there also. No, so I'm telling 1000 grams. I'm telling you take 1000 grams, but I'm actually giving you only 900 grams. 10 percentage profit for me there also. Yes. Okay, beautiful guys. Thank you very much. Before you guys leave, right? Before you guys leave to let me know that you've enjoyed today's session and you've learned, in, learned something in today's session, please do not forget to like this video, share this video with your friends, right? Also, also try and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification icon as well, the bell icon as well, because it will let you know every time my session starts. Yes, not only my session, but every other session that comes on the Unacademy's cat channel, right? Now, uh, there is a platform for you guys, uh, tinyurl.com slash unacademy chat, right? Although it's under uh, process right now, it's almost done, right? It'll be done real soon. But before that, I'd want you to be a part of that group before any activity begins, right? Because I don't want you to miss out anything. Yes. Superb, superb Jansi. I am so, I am so glad that you actually learned something today, right Girish? Thank you very much. Uh, thank you Abha as well. Yeah, that is the cost price. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Now, uh, if you are planning on, you know, learning ahead, if you're planning on learning something in order to get 99th percentile and above, right? If your aims are that high, right? 99, 99.5, 99.8, 100th percentile, right? If you are aim, if your aim is that high, then what I uh, suggest you to do is not only stick to the YouTube live channels, right? The few, uh, the free ones, but I'd want you to go for the subscription ones as well, because there, there's more focused training happening, right? There, there will not be any distractions, right? There'll be focused training. Yes. So we would have the live classes and the normal interaction that we have with the educator. In this case, it would be me, Amit Surana. Yes. Apart from that, we have the leaderboard and the live polls. We also have test series. So people who are looking out for, you know, practice tests or practice tests, where do we find the practice test? Here is where you find it. Yes. And the amazing part would be what? Live doubt clearing sessions, right? You will always, you will always come up with doubts when you start solving. Even if you are referring some outside books or outside material, 
just by looking at the solution you may not be able to understand right so that is also being taken care of what i want you to do is download the unacademy's learning app yes install it select the cat because cat is the course that you're planning on right if you have some friends who are planning on taking some other tests also please suggest them as well right you will have to get the subscription and when you do so when you do so when you select one of these subscriptions right one month three months six months 12 months 24 months whatever that you're planning on doing right there's a lot of discount if you take the you know upper uh the the top uh, packages right and an extra discount if you use my code right surana live is my code surana is my last name amit surana ka surana right surana live do not forget to apply that code because if you use that code you will get a awesome discount as well yes so uh yeah this is the end of the session right let's crack it and i hope you guys have already shared you've already subscribed you are sharing yes you're letting me also know that you've liked the sessions yes do not forget to like before you leave do not forget to drop in a comment also if you've learned something yes Nimisha has already subscribed, which is beautiful. Yeah, uh, Prince, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Prince. Yes, superb. So if your aim is hundredth percentile, then that is where you're supposed to be, Nimisha. Beautiful, beautiful. Great. Then I'm gonna take a leave. I'm going to leave you with this happy note. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you are having a great weekend. Yes, I will see you tomorrow also, right? Because learning does not have a holiday. Yeah. So anyone who is planning on, you know, lazing out on Sunday, do it in the morning, right? Because evening 6.30 p.m. you will again see me tomorrow. Yes. Until then, thank you very much and have a great night.